Zach, life beat depression is day 802, and you know what we're about to do. Get in another somatic healing session to wipe out depression! Thank you so much, everybody, for being here now. Anyone who's tuning in later today is a Water Flow Wednesday. So that means we're going to be focusing on active recovery, on low intensity, and controlling that stress rate, controlling that heart rate, controlling that energy level through moving meditation. We're going to be using breathwork tool and movement while we practice our striking patterns, but we're going to keep it low intensity so we can give our bodies and minds a break from that high intensity training routine. If you've been sticking with us, you know all about it. And before we get into the lesson for today, let's talk about the first mental health tool we always share, gratitude. Gratitude going out to everyone in first today. Shout out, let's check. Ch shout out to Wing Wei 2018. Thanks for being here. Thanks for that support. You are part of the gratitude section. Shout out to Claire at Braces Can Be Scary. Shout out to Lisa the Luminary for being a rock out there with your constant progress and success. You are an unstoppable force and I appreciate you. Gratitude going out to everybody in there today uh, first to support us and yeah, both yourself and others with your self-care routine. So thank you. Also want to shout out gratitude to everyone else who's been supporting the cause, even if you're not here today. Uh, if you're tuning in later, shout out to Drunken Master. Thanks for being here. Appreciate that support. And to anybody out there who's been helping us help each other and share these free mental health tools. Uh, if you've been following along, today is day 802 of progress. That is our second mental health tool as well. Keeping track of that progress and success can build up in the mind into more self-esteem, self-validation, and self-confidence. And those are things that not even depression, not even the lies of depression can take away from us once we have factual proof, right, of the credit that we deserve for moving forward. So please do keep track of your daily goal accomplishment. Remember, set a goal that you can accomplish, show up for yourself each and every day. Uh, whether that goal is this class, you can use this list tool for other goals too. You can use this list tool for making the bed in the morning. I think that's the simplest example of it. But just having a cumulative track record of success with a daily task can help you move forward if you are dealing with depression or anxiety. If you'd like to make that goal even more effective, make it one that builds you up both body and mind, such as this training class or quality time with Bob, quality time with the mini sack, quality time with a heavy sack, whatever, whatever sack you have access to, uh, quality time at the gym or quality time on a bike, quality time hitting a heavy bag uh, anywhere in the world. All of those things count because they're building you up physically. They're also showing you what you can accomplish, showing you can, you can overcome those challenges that you give yourself. And that makes you more mentally resilient, not only physically resilient. So please do keep track of that progress. Let it build up and then share with others your track record of progress and success because it lets them know what they're capable of, right? We are all made of the same stuff. We're all capable of showing up for ourselves and moving forwards. We just have to set a reasonable goal for ourselves in the moment. Really tune into that moment. It's very important. So today is an active recovery day. I'm not going to use high intensity because the last several days in a row have been high intensity and at some point I would burn out and overwork. So today on day 802 of progress, we're going to tune into that breathwork tool, calm the nervous system while we practice on striking techniques as well. And if you've been following the show, you know we've been getting more and more technical as we grow together. Uh, it's important to always give yourself a challenge so that you can continue to grow out there and see that room, see that room for improvement, see that room for progress because your progress is success. So the show will continue to get more technical in the main section, but we're gonna try and keep Water Flow Wednesday and Superhuman Sunday accessible to everybody. We're gonna keep it uh, as, as slow moving and easy to integrate with as possible. So if you are new to this class, feel free to catch up at your own pace on SAC Life Daily on YouTube or on our IGTV daily training series where you can find over 300, 400, 500, 500 lessons for free available that you can take any time to get yourself caught up with where we're at right now. So for today, however, it doesn't matter if you saw any of those episodes before, we're going to tune into our bodies, we're going to get into Muay Thai position, and we're going to do some moving meditation uh, through Muay Thai and that breathwork tool we talked about earlier. So shout out to Shawnee Boy 98 Thank you for being here. He says I'm the best person ever. I appreciate that, but 
I'm just a human being. I'm not the best. <laughs> I'm my best. I'm being my best version of me I can possibly be, and that's all I can expect of myself, and I'm going to reward myself for being it. And I hope that you do the same, right? We're not here to compare or compete with one another. We're here to compete with ourselves, build ourselves up, and keep making that forward momentum, keep making that forward progress. So thank you for the compliment, but you are also the best, as long as you're doing your best. So keep going. Let's do this thing. All right, so we talked about gratitude. We talked about the progress tool. Claire said, can you hire that thing again fast, fast? You talking about this thing or that thing? I'm not sure what you're talking about. If you're talking about the speed bag, I can, but I'm pretty sore, so it might be, might be a little. That's for Claire. Special request. A little speed bag action. Um, but yeah, I am sore and slower today than it was yesterday, and I want to dial that intensity down. So you're welcome. And <laughs> let's get back on track. We're working from Muay Thai stance. Right, guard nice and high by the brow line, closed fingers, closed thumbs. And today we're going slow, we're going nice and accessible. And our focus here is to control that heart rate, control that nervous system, and bring that intensity down. So we're gonna tune into the breath, use that breath work tool of diaphragmic breathing through a 10 minute straight through session. We'll be flowing like water into our different movements and using that breath work tool as a guide. So we'll also have some common music coming through that retro synth 80s boombox, and this will allow us to de-stress while we refine those skills. Let's talk about the breathwork tool first. For those of you who have been here before, you already know all about it. Diaphragm breathing tool. We're going to use one hand on the chest, one hand on the belly. Take a deep breath through the nose to the belly and hold, and then long and slow exhale through pursed lips out the mouth. So let's do it together. Deep breath in through the nose to the belly. Hold on to it. Long and slow exhale out the mouth. Remember to put some pursed, put some resistance between those lips, purse those lips a little bit, a little bit of back pressure in there will help further exercise that diaphragmic breathing muscle and calm that nervous system. It's a tool and once we learn how to use it, we can make it more and more effective the more we practice it, just like all those other tools that we're sharing. So one more time, check in on yourself. Where's your energy level? Where's your stress level today? Where are your thoughts? Do you have an anxious mind at the moment? Let's tune into that breath work tool and see if we can calm those things down. One more time, deep breath in through the nose to the belly. Keeping the chest flat. Long exhale out the mouth. And it's as simple as that. Like I said before, the more we practice it, the more effective we can make that tool. And now we're gonna make it super effective by combining it with our Muay Thai techniques. We're gonna start with the basic jab and then we're gonna follow that jab up with multiple different elbow strikes. We're gonna get creative and kinda tune into the moment and give ourselves a nice, fun, creative routine that we can carry. And if at any point you feel like you start to sweat or fatigue or that heart rate starts elevating, that's when we're gonna tune back into the breath and calm that nervous system down as we go. But the important thing is to tune into you and to stay aware of how you are in this present moment. Just by simply grounding ourselves in this moment with these tools, we can escape and relieve the symptoms of mild to moderate, mild to moderate anxiety and depression. If you wanna know more about why that works, check out some research on the flow zone, on getting into a state of flow. That's our goal here on this show. So let's do it. Let's get our water flow Wednesday kicked off. Right, with some calming music. Harry. Bing, boom, boom. There it is. And I'm gonna get this timer going. Go ahead and pop into your Muay Thai stance. And we're gonna start using that breath, linking that breath with movement. On the deep inhale to the belly, we're gonna assume our defensive stance. And on that long, slow exhale, we're gonna move forwards through our striking patterns. Like I said, we'll start with the jab, we'll flow nice and slow into several different elbow strikes, and then we'll just get creative, see what we can follow that jab up with. That makes sense in a state of flow, right? Remember, one move feeds the next. You can always set up your next shot with your first shot. So today we're just gonna work off of that jab and kind of keep it variable. We'll go nice and slow so you can follow along visually. And if you're not familiar with the stance, we'll give it a quick breakdown, but stance guides are available on sacklifeofficial.com at the bottom of the free martial arts for mental health class section. So check that out 
and be fully prepared for every one of these shows. Shout out to Missy Chaffo, thanks for being here. To Slayer Ken, thanks for being here as well. And thank you for sharing your progress at 410 days, crushing it out there. Good stuff, man, thank you. All right, let's pop into this thing. Muay Thai stance timer is going nice and balanced. Let's break down that stance for anybody new. We want to start squared up with that camera, nice and square. Step those feet apart a little bit wider than shoulder distance apart. And then we're going to visualize a square on the ground. Step forwards, placing the front foot in the top corner, back foot in the bottom corner. A little bit of bend in the knees and keep the weight on the ball of those feet. That way you can rotate those heels nice and easy. The heels slightly raised off the ground in this position. Heads right in the center. We're in a balanced Muay Thai position here. Bring the fists up to the head. Close the fingers, tuck the thumbs. Tuck the chin, curl those hips. I know it's a lot, but take it slow, one step at a time, and over time with consistency and dedication, it'll become easier and easier. Now, once you're in this position and you're steady and you're balanced and you're used to it, you can start the little march. Start creating that flow pattern there, moving forwards and backwards from the front foot to the back foot, carrying that rhythm with the hands. Let's sync everything up to the breath now. Take that deep breath in to defensive stance. Hold it, and then long and slow, exhale forwards into a jab. Small step on the front foot, twisting through the shoulders and the hips, rotating on that front foot, full extension. Now you don't have to rotate for the jab. The jab is kind of a forward straight punch here. You don't have to rotate on the ball of that foot. You can just step into it. You can add rotation there. It might give you a few extra inches on that punch, but most people teach it with a straight step forwards. Into the jab, finish that exhale. Deep inhale back to defensive stance. Guard high, hold that breath in the belly. Long and slow exhale forwards. Into the jab. Twisting in the hips and the shoulders and exaggerating that rotation while keeping the guard high on the opposite side. Fully exhale and deep inhale back through the nose to the belly as we return to defensive stance. Long exhale forwards into jab. Turn that fist over when you toss it. Remember, want to land on those large two knuckles and tuck that thumb underneath the top two fingers. Squeezing on impact. Finish that breath there. And deep inhale back through the nose to the belly. Guard high. We're going to add in the cross now. Long exhale through jab cross. Notice how the head stays on that center line. And I'm twisting through, twisting through hips and shoulders, exaggerating that shoulder movement, sending that punch straight forwards. And also, if you notice that back foot, rotating on the ball of that foot. Fully exhale here and deep inhale back. Guard high, long exhale forwards. Sink a little bit on those knees, that will make rotation easier. And try and keep the head centered between those feet. Nice and balanced. Deep inhale back. And let's return to the power of breath. If you're feeling that lactic acid or soreness building up in the arms, go ahead and shake them out. Shout out to Carla. Thank you for joining, I appreciate you. All right, we're working on Water Flow Wednesday and we're tuning in to the power of that breath work tool. You can do this, open up those shoulders, get a little stretch in there. And one hand over chest, one hand over belly. Let's return to the breath to calm the system. Deep in the nose to the belly. Hold on to it. Long and slow, exhale out the mouth. Deep in the nose to the belly. Hold on to it. Long and slow, exhale out the mouth. Feel this calm in that nervous system down, taking that energy level down. And now we're going to breathe into the belly as we assume defensive stance again. Deep breath into the belly. Guard is high. Long and slow. Exhale into the jab. And from here, we're going to throw a nice round elbow. Dropping that rear hand in to the chest. We're turning through as we slide forwards on that rear foot, bringing the elbow around. The rotation is very similar to the cross that we just threw, but instead of extending that fist forwards, we're putting that wrist against the body and 
turn it through, letting the elbow rotate around into that point of impact. Deep breath back. Guard high, Muay Thai position. Long exhale forward, jab, round elbows. Fully exhale there in striking position. Deep inhale back. Holding that breath in the belly. Long and slow exhale forward through jab, elbows. Remember to sink on those knees and rotate through the shoulders and hips, following the breath as a guide. You want to finish that elbow strike right at the end of that breath. Fully exhaling there in striking position, deep inhale back. Guard high, long exhale forwards through jab and elbow. Nice and slow. Deep inhale back. Hold that breath, long exhale through jab, elbow. Notice how the guard comes back from the lead hand as we rotate through into the second strike. Go ahead and shake out those arms. Let's return to the breath and we're going to mix that combo up again. Deep breath in through the nose to the belly. Hold on to it. Long and slow exhale out the mouth. Shake the arms out if you need to. Do a little stretch. Deep breath in through the nose to the belly. If you don't need the hands as a guide, you can rest them by your side. Deep breath in the nose to the belly. Close your eyes and visualize that breath to make it even more calming. Long exhale out the mouth. Nice and slow. We're in control of that automatic nervous system now, and we're taking charge. No matter what our body is telling us. All right, back to stance. Take that deep breath into the belly as you assume defensive stance. And now we're going to switch up that second elbow. So we're going to take that long exhale. Stepping into the one, and then we're going to rotate, sending that rear elbow right up the center line, kind of combing the hair back as we twist through the hips and shoulders. Now the rotation is the same. Rotation on that rear foot is the same as this round elbow strike, but instead of putting the wrist against the chest here and bringing it around, we're going to send the hand up behind the hair, just like we're combing that hair back. Deep inhale to the defensive stance. Long and slow, jab into rising elbow. Fully exhale at that point of impact. You wanna go nice and slow and kind of let your movement sink with that long exhale. Exhaling into striking position, inhaling back to defense position. Guard high, breath in the belly, long exhale through jab, rising elbow. Remember that guard comes back as well after you make contact with the lead hand. Deep inhale back through the nose to the belly. Guard high, long and slow exhale through jab, rising elbow. And different guard options here. You can do the head cover here, you can do palm forwards, open palm forwards, side. Guard, we can do side guard here, all different guard options depending on preference. So don't, don't worry too much. As long as you're bringing that hand back and using some sort of defense with your offense, you're doing a good job. Tuck that chin into the shoulder, keep the shoulders rolled, deep inhale back. Guard high, chin tucked. Nice balanced stance. Long exhale through jab, rising elbow. Deep inhale back. Guard high, long exhale through jab, rising elbow. Deep inhale back, shake those arms out. Shout out to Tanea, thank you for joining, appreciate you. We're almost done. We're gonna go back through and I want you to mix those elbow strikes up however you would like. So we practiced a round elbow, we practiced the rising elbow, and we had the cross in there as well. So follow up that jab with whichever one you'd like, stay creative. Deep inhale to the belly into defensive stance. Long exhale forward, two strikes, one long breath. Deep inhale back. 
hold that breath in the belly, long exhale forwards into two strikes. Nice, slow exhale, slow execution here. Deep inhale back to the belly. Long and slow exhale through double strikes. Any two you'd like. Deep inhale back. Long exhale forward. Deep inhale back. Hold that breath in the belly. Long exhale forward. Remember to stay nice and balanced, heads on that center line, everything's evenly spaced, off through that rotation. That is the end of our Water Flow Wednesday session when it comes to movement and breath. Let's tune just into that breath work tool to show you how powerful that can be. If you are feeling a little bit of that uh, excited energy, if you did pick up that heart rate and get carried away with the strikes, we can calm that system down now by tuning into just the breath. One hand over the chest, one over the belly. Deep breath in through the nose to the belly and hold. Hold that breath. Long exhale out the mouth. And close the eyes and visualize that breath to make it more effective. Deep breath in the nose to the belly. Nice and slow, hold on to that breath. Long exhale out the mouth. Now if you're familiar with the 478 breath, we're going to employ that now. Remember go nice and slow. We're going to take a four second draw in the nose to the belly. Hold on to it for seven and then exhale for eight seconds. Let's do it together. Four seconds into the belly. Hold on to it for seven. Second exhale. Four into the belly. Hold for seven. Eight second exhale. going to be the end of our water flow Wednesday. Hopefully you're feeling those calming effects of that breath work tool. And remember, you can use it in any situation, even if you're in a high stress situation or you are working, you're putting in physical work, that heart rate's getting out of control. You can take a moment, tune back into the breath and calm that nervous system, get that power back. And, uh, and that will show you how powerful you are out there. Until next time, I will catch all you guys and girls, same sack time, same sack channel, same sack life. Sack man.